on your paper, write two scenarios. Okay? Okay? On this side here, we've got negative charge carriers, okay, i.e. electrons, right, move, okay? On this side here, it's a positive charge, okay? Now, on both of these, concept zero is that a Hall effect probe is a piece of wire and it's a piece of wire that has been flattened. You could do it with a round piece of wire, but ones that are flat and have a bigger area have a bigger and more pronounced Hall effect, and therefore, what does it say? Follow me on here, we'll put it on the other way. Okay, have a bigger and better sensitivity. Okay, so in, in essence, the, the heart of the Hall effect probe is a flat conductor. Okay, on that flat conductor, the flat conductor is placed, so here we've got you know, one side, here we've got another side, okay? And the current, we've got, um, we've got this side is the positive side, this side is the negative side, and this is supplied by some, we've got some weak source of current that's sending electricity, and the current is this way, okay? So on both of these, in physics land, we say that the current, okay, and write this down. You've got to be able to, to wrap your mind around this and explain this. Okay? Okay, now these are the electrodes. Here is the actual thing. So this is supposed to be a flat conductor in the magnetic field. Okay? And the magnetic field that it's in, that it's measuring, by the way, this is the magnetic field that we're trying to measure, is into the page. Okay? So let's do the same thing over here. So here is a conductor, a flat conductor, which means it's slightly below the pitch. Kidding? And nobody laughed. If a physics teacher makes a joke in a room and nobody laughs at it, is it funny? Turns out it's not. Okay, so, okay, so, let's imagine that we're in reality, okay? That actually negative charges move, yes? So if negative charges move, if we've got a current flowing this way, electrons go which way? Electrons go this way, okay? So negative charge is going to have to go this way to affect EFFECT, a current to the left. Does that make sense? Negative charge moving right is the same as a positive charge moving left. Okay, and sadly, this is the way it is. On all physics currents, when we say the current's to the left, it's really electrons that are going to the right. It's sad. Okay, could have gotten it right, but nobody had a microscope big enough to see electrons. We still don't. Okay, so, now, let's figure out which way the electron's going to be forced. So we're just going to simply use the right-hand arrow. So, so the first thing is set up a situation like this, right? Second thing is decide which way the, the charge carrier has to go. This is in your way, isn't it? Okay, so first thing is set, a, set it up, set up the, the magnetic field, right? Second thing, decide the direction of the charge carrier. And then the last step is uh, right hand rule it. Right, force is QVB. Right, so it's exactly like that. So everybody fingers this way. Magnetic field into the page. Force is up, but it's negative up, correct? So the force, the magnetic force is actually down, right? And so this electron, as it flows that way, as it flows that way, because it's attached to some source of current, all Hall effect probes have to have their own little source of current, okay? Because it's forced down that way, the bottom of this, this thing is actually going to drift down and travel along the bottom of the wire. And the bottom of the wire becomes negative, and by subtraction, the top of the wire becomes positive. And if we hook a voltmeter up to this, okay, voltmeters are all blue, 
Okay? But if we hook a voltmeter up to this, the voltmeter detects this side as positive and this side as negative. And by the way, that's all that's going on there. Remember the Hall effect probe when it said positive magnetic field, negative magnetic field? Okay? As you might imagine, if you change the direction of the magnetic field, you change the polarity of this. Right? That's all it's doing is it's just detecting positive or negative uh, voltage. Right? So it's just basically a voltmeter, and then it may have some function that it applies to that. But these are analog devices. They just measure a magnitude like that. So should we go, go through those steps again? Because you're going to need to reason through this on a test. This is like a word question on the test, right? So first off, it's a flat conductor in a magnetic field into the page, yes? So you draw that picture, right? Second off, if the current flows this way to the left, okay, then electrons have to flow to the right. Yeah, that's the second step. Are we all wrapped our minds around that? Now we just simply do this. What's going to happen to the electron when it does that? Okay. Well, electron goes that way, magnetic field into the page. It's up, but it's negative up, so the force is down, yes? That makes the bottom of the wire negative relative to the top. If you hook a voltmeter to that, it'll read a voltage. Small one, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, say it again. No, I think we're good, right? So, the question is, the question is, is, is it all going to be the same? If positive charges move, will we get the bottom negative and the top positive, right? Just like it was there? Well, it turns out it's not. It's not. It's, it's a different situation. So let's reason through it for a positive charge, okay? So we still have the current to the left, which means we've hooked this thing up to a, a source of current. This is hooked up to a source of current, and this side's positive, this side's negative, right? And the current is flowing this way through it. Now, if positive charge is moved, which way would they be moving? They'd be moving to the left, correct? Nothing to reverse there, right? Positive, a current flowing to the left means that we have positive charge flowing to the left. Yeah? So far, so good? Okay. Now, let's figure out the direction of the force on this positive charge. Right, so, so we've, we've done these two steps. Set up the magnetic field. We've decided the direction that the charge carrier goes, right? Now we've got to do the right-hand rule. Index fingers this way, drum roll please. Magnetic field into the page. Which way is positive charge moving? Yeah, that's sort of interesting. So the magnetic force is this way. That means the bottom of this, this thing's going to drift down toward the bottom. That means the bottom of this will be positive and the top will be negative. Is this a way that you can tell without even knowing that there are electrons and protons? Is this a way you can tell the charge carriers are actually negative? Yeah. The, the potential is one of this. It's either positive on the top and negative on the bottom, or negative on the top and positive on the bottom. Okay? This doesn't happen with wires. This does happen with wires. Therefore, we know the charge carriers are negative. Yeah? Yeah? This is also why a Hall effect probe is highly sensitive to rotation because we're measuring the voltage from this side to this side and so if I rotate it like that well now the magnetic field doesn't do much at least not in the direction you're measuring the voltage it's trying to move the charge up and down in a very thin layer so it doesn't work okay so it's got to be that the magnetic field is perpendicular to that okay yeah and then the magnitude of the, mag of the magnetic field that it reads is just proportional. Somehow there's a function that the Vernier software works out. To that. And I don't know that it's linear. I don't know that doubling the voltage doubles the magnetic field. It could be, I don't, I don't know. Are we okay on Hall effect? Okay. And we've also talked a little bit about the magnet lab. The magnet lab is going to be a lab where you guys decide what the variables are. And we'll brainstorm that a little bit. Probably your dependent variable, the thing you measure, will be magnetic force, right? Or magnetic field as measured by a Hall effect probe, okay? Okay, now let me talk a little bit about field patterns and I can get to the demonstration that involves fire, okay? That's right.